Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Douglas Yates, who is the Interfaith Coordinator, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Interfaith Scotland. For I was unhungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. The Saviour knew what it was, and what it felt like, to be a refugee, he was one. As a child, Jesus' family fled to Egypt to escape the murderous King Herod. And at various points in his ministry, Jesus found himself threatened and his life placed in danger. Ultimately, he would lay down his life for each one of us. Perhaps then it is all the more remarkable that he repeatedly taught us to love one another and to love our neighbour. Truly, pure religion and undefiled before God is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to look to the poor and to the needy and to administer to their relief that they shall not suffer. There are highly charged arguments in government and across society regarding what should be done to assist those who are refugees. My remarks today are not intended in any way to form any part of that discussion, but rather to invite us to focus on those people, those who have been driven from their homes and from their countries. In the Book of Mormon, we read of the people of Alma, who, in their prosperous circumstances, did not send any away who were naked, or that were hungry, or that were athirst, or that were sick, or that had not been nourished. They were liberal to all, both old and young, both bond and free, both male and female, whether out of the church or in the church, having no respect to persons as to those who stood in need. Being a refugee may be a defining moment in the lives of those who are refugees, but being a refugee does not define them. Some of them will go on to be teachers, musicians, engineers, Indeed, many of them were these things before they left their countries and lost everything. This moment does not define them. But our response to them will define us. Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. 